whenever we talk about arranged marriage, the culture that comes to mind immediately is the Indian culture. In fact, Indians still practice arranged marriage today. Most Indians grew up with the concept that you do not marry for love. Wow, interesting enough. But they believe that love grows over time. Now today we're going to look at Indian arranged marriage versus America or the Western choice marriage. I'm coming from home. I have a marriage and family therapist, and this program is about relationships, marriage, and self-improvement. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel, leave your notification on. Thank you. So today we're going to look at the differences between the Indian arranged marriage and the America choice marriage. We will also discuss some interview that was taken, uh, that was done 2018, I believe, by an Indian millennial and her views about the Indian arranged marriage. So watch this entire episode because it's very, very interesting what a millennial, an Indian millennial has to say about the Indian arranged marriage. Okay, so I did a lot of research and studies, and I'm just going to share with you a few things that uh, I've, I, I found. You know, according to studies, divorce rate in the U.S. choice marriage is high compared to an uh, Indian arranged marriage, which is low. That's, that's one thing that you're going to find is you don't have to have a research to know that the American, that in American culture, divorce rate is very, very high. Even Christian marriage is still high. But in the Indian culture, it's not, it's not that high. It's actually low. Then the studies also say that um, there were fewer divorce rate in the Indian culture. Very few divorce rate in the Indian culture compared to the American culture. So that is the first thing that we want to we 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 we, we want to talk about is the the rate of people marrying for a long time versus in American choice marriage where people you know divorce with, 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 with by the first three years. Now this study does not reflect my personal views. This is a research that I did. You know, in my previous episode, I talk about what we can learn from arranged marriage. But today we are looking at the two different cultures and how they, their, their marriage even impact their families. Now, number two, yeah, let's look at trust versus um, the, the Indian arranged marriage depend mostly on trust. The U.S. marriage often struggle with trust. You know, trust is a major reason for the participants following the Indian culture and tradition of arranged marriage. But trust is also a big issue, oftentimes, in the American marriage. In fact, one of the reasons why the Indian marriage is based on the family is because the children believe that they, the children actually trust their parents when it comes to marriage. Because marriage is not like you are going to go to Walmart and buy uh, apple, apple juice, and if you don't like it, you return it like that. You know, it, 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 there's a lot, your emotions go into it, your, your, your cognitive, mental, you, everything. So to pull away, it can be very expensive. And so uh, the children of the Indian culture say that they, they trust that their parents can do the selection. They can choose for them. Wow, that's very, very, very weird, right? It's very, very weird because the marriage is based on trust. But in America, it's based on the feelings of love, especially in the, that's what it is in America. It depends on, oh, I feel it, oh, chemistry, you know, chemistry and the feelings and, and the, it, there are all kinds of words. But then when they go into it, then they realize I don't even trust the person anymore, you know. So that is one of the difference. The Indian culture depends on trust. The American culture depends on love love in, in, in what I would call the feelings of love. Okay. Number three, Indian arranged marriage is still evolving. In fact, in today they said that the Indian arranged marriage 
is evolving, giving couples the time to get to know themselves compared to the previous generation where you just, they boom, they bring a lady to you or boom, they bring a man to you. This is your husband. This is your wife. You have to marry. You know, studies saying that that is evolving. So there are some uh, revisions going on. Um, number four. Okay. Indian, in the Indian arranged marriage, you learn to love. <laughs> you learn to love. You love after the marriage because you didn't even know the person you're going to marry. So you learn to love. Unlike the American choice marriage, you first love and then you enter into courtship and dating. All right. Or in the beginning, pretty much you go by love in the American culture. But in the Indian culture, you go in and you learn. They believe that you can learn love with time. You can develop love with time. Because in the, in, the, in the American culture, we know from studies that oftentimes when people marry, the, in the, within the first two years, the feelings of love fades away. And that is when they begin to experience bombs and, and a lot of issues in the way. Because even some say that I know one person, he says, Kwame, uh, Pastor Kwame, the person I'm married, I think I don't love her anymore. Or I don't love him anymore. I've heard it many times. You know, I don't know where love went. I have no idea. So love went somewhere. But the feelings of love disappears or it fades away within the first two years. But the Indian culture don't go by feelings per se. But they actually begins the marriage to develop the love. Because the, the American people, uh, when the love fades away, then they, their relationship is gone because they have not learned to grow and to develop the love. But the Indian culture begins with the behavior. Uh, they said another, another learned behavior shown in the study was learning to love your spouse after they arrange marriage and staying in the relationship no matter what. So it is the learning to love that is in that culture. And I find that very, very uh, interesting. Another thing that we see is the Indian arranged marriage, they said that talking is difficult in the beginning. I will not use communication. I will say talking more. Uh, there's a difference between talking and communication. They said in the Indian arranged marriage, because you didn't know the person you're going to marry, right? You are there, they bring that person to you. So it's kind of awkward, it's kind of weird. What do you? What, what are you going to say? <laughs> How do, why do you even start the conversation? So obviously, talking begins, I mean, it's difficult in the beginning. Unlike the American culture where, they, because of dating and courtship, uh, the people, the, the pre-couples, might have been talking a long time before they engage or they even actually do the wedding itself. Now, I'm very careful not using the word communication because talking and communication are two different things. Communication is a skillful act or art of talking. It's very different. In fact, if most couples know about communication, they will not even have to go to divorce. It's just talking. So that's the whole, the one big difference. In the Indian culture, if you start the, marry, the marriage and you begin, talking is weird. Talking is tough. Talking is uncomfortable. Another findings about the studies is that most Indians, most Indian boys and girls don't leave home when they turn 18. Wow. They don't leave home. Instead, they develop into young men and women under their parents' wing. They don't leave home. So what we see that is that the culture is such a way that you are you you'll be trained according to what I read I haven't been to India before you'll be trained to be a man or a woman but in the American culture once you are 18 it's you and God who figure things out you and God who figure things out but the Indian culture the culture itself uh, will prepare you. And that's one of the things that I like about the culture is that they, uh, I'm not saying that I'm gonna, we, we should go for um, uh, arranged marriage, but I'm talking about this particular aspect that letting your family, your 
your, the place where you were born, your culture, train you and prepare you for marriage is very critical as opposed to going purely for love because I love the person. Reality and romantic are not the same. You can really be moved by love or romantic, but when reality sets in, you realize it's a whole another area of, of, of life. So most Indians and boys and girls don't flee home or don't leave home um, when they turn 18. Instead, they develop into young men and women under, under their parents' wings. Now, this importance of family bond may be another reason for women to be satisfied with their husband whom their parents choose because the trust is there. Another, another, there are three components of this particular study that I, 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 I reviewed. Three things that the culture depend on, Indian culture, trust, respect, the trust, respect is very, 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 very important for them that the, the marriage is purely built on trust and respect. Unlike the, the culture, American culture depends on the feelings of love. So that is where we run into these uh, problems. So now when they were interviewing this particular individual uh, on CNN 2018, and she was sharing, she's a millennial, an Indian millennial. And she was sharing about um, her views uh, in arranged marriage. And here are some of, some of, the, of the highlights that I captured. Uh, she says, Indian marriage, Indian arranged marriage is not based on love. Hey, really? How do you say that? No, it's not based on love. That someday might fade away. See? It's not based on love that some, someday may fade away, but rather a contract that needs to be fulfilled. That is what this individual said. Now, I don't believe that marriage should be based on contract. As a child of God, as a Christian, marriage should be based on covenant. Covenant is with the heart. Contract is with the mind. That's how I see it. But this is what her, she, her views is. Marriage is not based on love that someday may, 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 may fight fade away, but rather on contract that needs to be fulfilled. And, and then she continues, I believe very strongly in the, in the idea of an arranged marriage. She tells me, this is a CNN person, she, she tells me over the phone one recent evening, not that love is not right, that's what she says, but it has been instilled in me to have an arranged marriage. And then she continues, younger women today are far more open in their outlook than where my mother and aunt. So she's saying that Indian children who have migrated to America are more open to the choice marriage than, you know, than her parents. And then another thing that she says, she says, even arranged marriages have changed among urban middle-class families. Parents still introduce men and women to each other, but they are usually given time to get to know one another before an engagement is announced. And I grew up in India at a time when most of my cousins and friends were open to arrange marriages. But once our family migrated to the United States, my father never pressured me to marry a man of my, of my choice, uh, of his choosing, of his choosing. And that is what I wanted. I could not comprehend making a life commitment to somebody I did not love. That's what she said. But she said, then she, later on, she went back to the... Uh, to the uh, arranged marriage. She believed her parents love each other, but it is a different sort of love than the one portrayed in popular culture. Love is only a small component to a successful relationship, she says. I didn't say that, she says. What is my takeaway? My takeaway is that we are learning the difference between marriages in different culture compared to American culture. But one thing I like to take with you is that if you are going to marry someone, get to know the person. If it is online, bring the person to, to your community. Let the other people get to figure out who the person is. Uh, it is very, very critical. Get some coaching, mature, make some wise decisions. And thank you so much for watching. Please send me your comments. Tell me what you think about the differences between Indian arranged marriage and America choice marriage. Don't forget to subscribe. God bless you and thank you for watching.